Something a little bit different today, we are testing the DFS motor controller and uh, this is connected now to the, um, to the power supply here which is providing around 30 volts we have it also connected to the VASC tool to see how the motor controller behaves and we have it connected to the ADC input which is this, this uh, throttle here and the motor which is uh, this motor here, the VEVOR this is, uh, these are the specs and I've attached this lead just to see how the motor uh, spins. Also, this is already switched on. I had a little bit of troubles uh, here with the connector, so it's uh, everything a little bit uh, quick and dirty, as you can see. So don't do this at home. And um, yeah, I just wanted to test it to see how this uh, works today. And I wanted to show you a little bit also how powerful this can be. Okay, so hopefully you can see a little bit the motor and also the controller and I'm just uh, taking the ADC input and I will just uh, see how this uh, will work. So we are currently running at uh, 1 amp and 30 volts. Now we are about 1.5 amps. This is uh, 2.5 amps at uh, 30 volts. So this was a quick update for today. I just wanted to show you a little bit how this works and uh, if you're interested in building something like this, uh, I got a full course where I show you how I design uh, this motor controller but also how to apply the principles of printed circuit board design at least the professional printed circuit board design so i will leave the link in the description if you also have some questions just uh, drop them in the comments below and uh, thank you for watching